In today's video we shall discuss about SV40 vector. But before that do subscribe to my channel and let me know your opinions and suggestions in the comment box. Let's move on to the video. Simeon Virus 40 SV40 is an abbreviation for Simeon Vacuolating Virus 40 or Simeon Virus 40, a polyomavirus that is found in both monkeys and humans. Like other polyomaviruses, SV40 is a DNA virus that has the potential to cause tumors in animals, but most often persists as a latent infection. SV40 has been widely studied as a model eukaryotic virus, leading to many early discoveries in eukaryotic DNA replication and transcription. Simeon Virus 40, Organization and its Replication Origin of Simeon Virus 40 Simeon virus 40 belongs to polyomavirus family, the family of viruses that induce tumors in animals, indeed, the suffix oma means tumor. Simeon virus 40 was first isolated from monkeys hence so named. SB40 was one of the first genetic elements to be studied by genetic engineering techniques and has been used extensively as a vector for transferring genes into eukaryotic cells. SB40 is a spherical virus with a circular, double-stranded 5,243 base pair chromosomes, which encodes five proteins, which are small t and large t, both early protein and VP1, VP2, VP3 variant protein. It has an origin of replication, about 80 base pairs, and is complexed with histones to form chromatin. Large t is essential for viral replication, while VP1, VP2 and VP3 form the viral capsid. In laboratory, it is multiplied in cultured kidney cells of African green monkey. Infected cells lice after 4 days releasing up to 10 rays to the power 5 virions per cell. SB40 plasmids can be packaged only if their DNA is within the range of 3900 to 5300 base pairs. SV40 is capable of multiplicity reactivation. Multiplicity reactivation is the process by which two or more virus genomes containing otherwise lethal damage interact within an infected cell to form a viable virus genome. Now, this is a diagrammatic representation of the SV40 genome. As I mentioned earlier the T antigen is essential for viral replication. VP1, VP2 and VP3 are the virion proteins that forms the viral capsids. Replication of simian virus 40. When the virus enters the host cell, its genome migrates to the nucleus. SB40 genome replicates inside the nucleus of the cell, but the capsid protein are synthesized in the cytoplasm and migrate inside the nucleus and finally the assembly of the virus take place. The replication of SB40 genome can be divided into two distinct stages, early and late. Early stage. The early region of the viral genome is transcribed to begin early protein synthesis. During this stage within 12 hours of infection and before start of genome replication, a single RNA molecule, called primary transcript, is synthesized by the RNA polymerase of the host cell and is processed into two mRNA, a large one and a small one. These mRNA are capped in the cytoplasm and translated to yield two proteins. The large T, the T antigen, binds to the site which is the origin of replication on the parental DNA. This initiates the synthesis of viral genome. Late stage. Replication of viral genome starts in a bidirectional fashion from a single origin of replication. Late mRNA molecules are synthesized using the strand complementary to that used for early mRNA synthesis. Transcription starts at a promoter near the origin of replication. This late RNA is then processed by splicing, capping, and polyadenylation to yield mRNA corresponding to the three coat proteins, namely VP1, VP2, and VP3. Viral coat protein mRNA are then transported to the cytoplasm and translated into the viral coat proteins, which are then transported back into the nucleus where the assembly of progeny viruses takes place. Release of progeny virus particles occurs by the lysis of the host cell. So this is the genetic map of SV40 polyomavirus. 
VP1, VP2 and VP3 represent the genes that encodes three proteins which constitute the capsid of the virus and the arrow shows the direction of transcription. Advantages of using SV40 as a vector SV40 vectors are good candidates for gene transfer as they display some unique features. SV40 is a well-known virus, non-replicative vectors are easy to make. They also efficiently transduce both, resting and dividing cells, deliver persistent transgene expression to a wide range of cell types, and are non-immunogenic. It is easily modified to be non-replicative. It can be produced in large quantities. It infects almost every cell type that has been tested, both dividing and quiescent. It is not immunogenic it allows long-term expression of the transgene. Its molecular biology is well studied and the effects in humans of wild type SV40 have been documented.